Let's create a scatter chart using Tableau Public and an Excel sheet. Here's my Excel sheet. I have school districts in Connecticut, their median household income in one column, and the grade levels that they are from test scores above or beyond the national norm. My Notes tab has all of my data sources from Stanford, TrendCT, and American Community Survey, just so I know where the data came from. Let's get rid of the Excel sheet, and now I'm in Tableau Public. This is version 10.2 for Mac. It's also available for Windows. First thing you need to do is connect. You can connect to text files, Excel files, spatial data, statistical data sets. You can even go down, and if we wanted to, we could do this whole thing by connecting to a Google Sheet. But for now, I'll just go back up and do an Excel connection. So I'm opening up that Excel file and connecting it that I just showed you a minute ago. Now it's connected to my Tableau data source. And I've got these two different sheets here. I have to drag one of them, my data sheet, into um, the next field here. And once again, you just see those three uh, areas there. And you could change or modify some of those labels. Here's the most important thing. Go to Worksheets, that little button in the bottom left corner. I never found it at first. I'm glad they pointed out for new users. And when you get here, the worksheet can be a bit overwhelming, but let's walk through it. Here's some data dimensions. So think of those as labels for data. Here are some numerical measures for the data. I have grade levels and median household income. If you want to go back to your data source, it's just that tab there, but we'll flip back over to the sheet that we're in. And you can look at pages, filters, marks, rows and columns, the sheet. That's the area where you're constructing things. This is the show me area where they're trying to give you suggestions about how you can build different visualizations. But let's do this one manually here. I'm going to take grade levels and I'm going to drag that measure up and over and put it into my rows. And I'm going to take the median household income and drag that up and drop it into my columns. Now, at first glance, it looks like I've just created just one point, but really it's aggregated all of those points into one spot. I need to go up to district, that's the dimension, and drag that down just into my markers area. Now I have a scatter chart where every dot indicates a school district, and I can see their variables. In the sheet one area here, I can um, give that a title. I just erase that area first and type in the title. I'm going to call this Connecticut uh, School Districts by Income and Grade Levels. 2009 through 13. And I've got a title for this now. You could put in captions as well. I could make this wider, but let's go to the next step. I'm going to save to Tableau Public. And now I'm actually signing in to the Tableau Public web server. So I've already had to sign up for an account. Um, or you could create one right here below, but I'm signing in and this is going to open up my web browser. So I'm going to, um, oh, first it wants to know what title I'm going to give this, so the default. I'm going to change that to the school district's title. So we know what my book, my workbook is named. Hit save on that. And this is going to open up my web browser. So let's drag that into our view here. It's sending it over to the Tableau Public Server. And here's my web browser. And you can see here that it, I have a visualization here on the Tableau public server. And that's the title. Um, and it's telling me I can make changes here, like tweaking the title and so forth. I understand that. Um, let's just go down. Here's the live visualization. That's what it will look like for users on their screens. And what can I do with this now? Well, if I go up to edit details, you'll see all these options about giving it more title, um, description, and different options you can add in as well going to say cancel on that and you can also go up and when people see this there's the default those are the share that's the embed code and the link and read the embed chapter to learn more about how to embed this in your website